G'day and welcome to another massive edition of the Ballarat Football Netball League A great netball show, thanks to our friends at McDonald's I'm joined by Grace, thanks for joining us this week Thanks for having me Now uh, some great games that happened over the weekend And you were out and about on Saturday Seeing a big battle between 6 v 7 Yeah I certainly was, I went down to Alfred And it was an awesome day down there um, They had their fundraiser for Matty Boyd <laughs> For Matty Lloyd, which was great. Thanks, Rod, for that. That was awesome too. Um, but, yeah, great game, great contest between 6th and 7th on the ladder. Um, Sebastopol really showed what they were made of in the Premiership quarter and come home with a win. Now, we know Ballarat have been playing some great netball this year, but uh, was, it a, was it more of the fact that Sebast were playing at some of their best that uh, sort of was influential on the day? Uh, Ballarat certainly had their winners on the court, that's for sure. Um, Sinead Cunningham was outstanding in goal attack for the Swans and they moved the ball really well and got a lot of opportunities. They forced Sebastian into some errors early, um, but Sebastian certainly the better team on the day. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, they are well and truly on track to play finals. Lake Windaree uh, comfortably accounted for Darwin, I should say comfortably, but a 14 goal margin uh, was very good uh, between two sides that are very competitive. Yeah, it certainly was competitive. I didn't think uh, Dali would be as close as what they were mm. to Lake Wendery at the final siren, but Lake Wendery, we expected them to win and they've done that. So, um, yeah, they certainly keep themselves in touch with that top group. Yeah, certainly 14 goal margin. They'd be pr proud of that, uh, Dali. Melton South took down Melton by 17 goals. Yeah, we thought Melton might get up and win this one, but unfortunately not to be. They remain mm. winless, but another good win for Melton South. Melton South have... Um, pulled together a couple of good wins in the back end of this season. Yeah, they certainly have. Uh, a blockbuster game on paper. Probably didn't quite live up to the hype when the margin was, uh, was done and dusted, but we know one superstar had a day out. It was North Ballarat City, 58, defeating Bacchus Marsh, 40 by 18 goals, but uh, one Maddie Selman had a day out on, a, on in the goal shooting department. Yeah, and we love when our young ones play well, so it's great to see Maddie Selman stepping up to the plate again when the pressure's on. I think... 51 goals or something mm, that's right. ridiculous so the majority of their score that's for sure and um, we all know that the goalers don't get it delivered to them on a platter and don't get that kind of service all the time so well done to Stacey and Gina for their efforts in the midcourt but yeah combined amazing effort by all but especially Maddie Selman in goal shooter. And she's had an outstanding year she's played some great games with Sovereigns she's been playing great rep netball as one of the younger ones as well she's uh, she certainly had a stellar year that's making her one of the premier shooters in a quality team. Yeah, she is definitely a premier shooter, regardless of her age. She's yeah, one of the best that we've got to look at in our age, uh, in our um, league at the minute, and it's great that she is so young and standing up when they need her to. Sudbury Lions took down Redan by 27 goals, 59 to 32. Yeah, another solid display by Sunbury. Um, Ruth Smith, by all accounts, was amazing in goal attack and led from the front, but certainly had plenty of support by Taryn Munro in wing attack and Amanda Cusack in goal. So another good all-round effort. They just look hard to beat, don't they? Yeah. They, they certainly do, uh, unless we find a reason to tip against them, uh, which they haven't given us any. Uh, we, it's hard to see them. Uh, it's hard to see where that first loss is going to come from, if it'll happen. And uh, we'll talk up this week's games. Of course, uh, plenty of great excitement happening around the competition. With no doubt, there'll be, uh, there's going to be uh, funds will be raised for the Ronald McDonald Charity House, which is where we've got uh, that thing there. So there'll be plenty of uh, rattling the tin to be heading out. Uh, involved what games involving Ballarat, Darley, Bacchus Marsh, and uh, which is pretty exciting. Of course, the, uh, the the senior footballers will be running out. Uh, the captains will be wearing zero on their backs for uh, for raising awareness for a blood alcohol readings of zero. As the, uh, the government makes a big, or TAC Cup have a big stranglehold on that, as we've got some big games this weekend. Round 14, we've got Bacchus Marsh and Lake Windaree. This is a mouthwatering contest. Yeah, it certainly is. Bacchus Marsh will be looking to bounce back a little bit from their loss last weekend, and Lakers, on the other hand, had a win, but maybe not as convincingly as they thought. And again, it's two teams that are vying for that second chance, so they'll both yeah, certainly be hunting the points, I would think. Oh, actually, I don't really know what I think, to be honest. Yeah, maybe it's a back tough as, one to tip. Maybe back as Marsh to get up for me. Because both sides are very, they've been very good on paper and they've had some good matches against each other. So it's a, it, is a, it is a tipster's nightmare. I, I think like a win to will win that one, but not, I'll say that without any in conviction. Darley play host to the Sunbury Lions. Yeah, I think it'll be another big win for da uh, for Sunbury, sorry. Sunbury are just too strong across the board for all teams at the minute, and we know that Daly have been struggling a little bit, and coming up against Sunbury is not an easy task yeah. at any point in the season. So, yeah, I think Sunbury for me. Spot on there. Uh, East Point, come, on, come in off the bye. They take on a Ballarat side that is hungry after a tough loss on the weekend. Are there a chance to, uh, to upstage one of the Premiership favourites? 
I think Ballarat are always a chance. They've got such great kids down at Ballarat at the minute. They've got a good mix of exper inexperience, experience, speed, agility, all that kind of thing. So I think Ballarat aren't going to go into too many games where they're not a chance, but I think East Point will be too strong on the back of a bye. Spot on there. Uh, Melton South uh, play host to North Ballarat City. North Ballarat City coming in off a massive win on the weekend. Yeah, massive win for North, and I expect that they'll continue to put more wins on the board as they meet Mountain South. They're just, yeah, once again, too strong across the court. They're a bit like Sunbury. They don't really have a weak link, so, um, yeah, North City will be too strong. They'll have a fantastic uh, game, no doubt about it. Uh, and Sebas play host to Redan. Is Redan a chance to shake things up a little bit and, and come away with a win here, or will Sebas continue on its form from the weekend? Um, Redan is certainly getting a chance. They've got some good players coming back in. I see Sarah Milton played on the weekend, which is a huge inclusion for them, but I just think Sunbury will be, uh, Sebas will be too strong. Sebas, um, they're really, really quick through their midcourt with the likes of Prue Scott, Maddie Quayle and Bianca Woods, and uh, yeah, I don't think Redan will match their speed. Yeah, well, uh, we'll take it up to them and uh, we'll make it a very hard finish, but you're right, uh, Sebas will be too strong. At the Marty Bush Reserve, there's some great games going on this weekend. We hope you guys go out there and uh, enjoy it as we start to see this ladder really start to take shape even further, as much as cliche it is. Thanks to our friends at McDonald's for their all, all their ongoing support. Grace, thanks so much for jumping on board this week, and we'll catch you next time. No worries.